Uh, hi guys, so I was just playing around a little bit in Blender today. I was actually working on some nebula stuff, some more volumetric nebula stuff, and I kind of came across a really cool, um, like, fire shader, um, a procedural fire shader, and, uh, yeah, I know that if you go on YouTube there are a lot of procedural fire shaders, but this one's a little bit more, like, um, like it's got really nice kind of long flames and be a good, like, slow motion fire for kind of background close-ups. With close-ups and background, I don't know. I'm, I, I still haven't, don't know where it's, where exactly I can use it, but I, um, yeah, it's, it's cool anyway. Um, I'll probably, I want to be able to make some, some volumes for it, so there might be a, a part two for this, but anyway, let's get started. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep the default cube. Um, I'm gonna make my background, I'm gonna make it black for now. We're gonna go into cycles. I'm sure, I think this will work with, um, oops, this will work with Eevee, but, um, I guess I'm trying it. Um, okay, so we are going to bring this right here, the shader editor. We're gonna get rid of, ah! Gonna get rid of the principled volume and we are gonna, or the principled BDF, BS, BSDF, um, and put in a principled volume. Nah, I always get so nervous when I'm recording. Okay, and then volume into volume. Cool, all right. And then from here, we're gonna bring the density all the way down. And I'm gonna look at the screenshot I have down here. Oh yeah, it's all gonna start with a Musgrave texture. Um, I'm gonna go to Rigid Multifractal here. And what we're gonna do, first of all, well, let's just like plug this into the emission strength and see what we got. Oh, cool, fancy. So we're gonna turn the gain way up. Um, I don't know why it's not doing anything, but this uh, is what I have written down here. Um, I think maybe because the scale or something has to be changed. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna bring the scale down a little bit. Actually, we'll see. We might play with that a little bit. Uh, detail, I'm gonna bring up to... F That's not doing anything either. What the heck? Okay, I know lacunarity does, does something. Um, we want to bring that down to like 0.8. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, we're kind of getting these like these little wispy bits, and you can probably see where I'm going with with those wispy bits that you see in there. Those kind of look like uh, delicate little little flame flamies. Um, okay, so we're gonna go with that. We're gonna Bring in a color ramp. I just have it hot keyed to Control R. Um, I'm gonna change this to constant, and I'm gonna bring it down like this. Hey, check that out. That looks pretty pretty cool, right? Wow. Okay. Um, okay. From there, we are going to. Um, I'm going to do control T with node wrangler, bring up the texture coordinate and mapping. Um, and first thing I'm going to do is scale this down a little bit like that. Actually, you know what? Scratch that. I'm going to, I'm going to just like scale it on the Z axis and it'll kind of elongate the the whole texture. Okay, sweet. So yeah, we got we got kind of flame looking things. Um, the next thing we are going to do is we gotta the flames gotta end at the top here. We got nice flames over here, but then they gotta they gotta stop. So we are gonna bring in a gradient texture. Let's just uh, I'll just show you kind of what we're doing here. So we're gonna keep it at linear. We're gonna bring up more 
texture coordinate and mapping nodes. Um, for these, we got to, I think, bring the Y up to 90. Yeah, there we go. So we can kind of see what it's it's doing there. Um, breaking off with a, with a thing. Uh, or like causing a, you know, a gradient. Um, and then we got to bring that up. We got to bring that up. For some reason, these... I really need to learn how to do this better because it doesn't uh, doesn't like doing what I want, and uh, it's backwards right now. I could either like flip it with a uh, or like it should be the other way. We should have the white at the bottom, black at the top, um, so I could like invert it. But I'm gonna see if I can just like do this 270, 270, and then bring this down, bring it up, bring it up. Yeah, cool. Um. All right, there we go. Oops. Nice. Now we got our uh, gradient texture. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change this to quadratic sphere. No, radial. No. Okay, I'm gonna bring it to to easing. I think that's kind of what we want. Um, and then just to just to toy with it a little bit more, we're gonna add a math node. And we're gonna change this to power, power, and yeah, there we go. It's like even more, even more eased, eased to the max. And we just gotta bring it up a little bit more. I think that did something. I don't know. Let's. Uh, well, it's too late now. Okay, so yeah, now we got uh, we got the power. The we kind of have this like. Uh, 3D mask going on now, and we also have the flames. So we gotta make those, um, make the mask mask the flames. And so the way we're gonna do that is within mix RGB. And oh, forget how did I put this one into the factor, and then that one down there, and I turn this black, and then I turn I plug that in. Oh my god, I, I do this all the time. I don't know why I always plug it into emission color instead of emission strength. There we go. I actually sat here for like uh, for like two minutes trying to figure that out. And hey, doesn't that uh, kind of looks like uh, looks like a little something? Hey. Um. Okay. So now we are going to we're gonna color it. So I'm just gonna move all of these over a little bit, and then I'm gonna bring in another color ramp. I'm just going to put it there and plug it into the emission color. Actually, I'm going to move it down there. And uh, yeah, so for this bottom one, I'm going to make it red. As red as red can be. And then this other one, this white one, I'm going to make it yellow. And then the game here is just kind of finding where they, where they overlap. And I could probably do myself a big favor by actually changing this from constant back to uh, back to ease. Is that what I want? And that way we just have like a a little bit of gradient. Let me just see. Yeah, I'm gonna change that back to ease, and then we have like a little bit more of gradient um, from the from the density from like the uber dense to the to the less dense. Um, Cause yeah, this kind of it's making that making it so that the uh, making it so that the inside can um, can hopefully be yellow and the outside can hopefully be red. I don't know if it's actually doing that though. If I like go out a bit more. Now before I oh that's actually that's pretty good. Before I I would kind of I choked it like all the way up and was somehow able to get it to do a thing, but it kind of looks like it's changing all the colors right now. Okay, I have a hunch that it might be because these are between uh, one and two or zero and one. I feel like it's just not there's not enough density, maybe. So if we like bring this, bring that up, it kind of looks like we're getting a little bit more. Okay, I don't know if the color ramp is actually working or if it's, or if just the uh, 
the overexposed parts are just becoming brighter, but uh, it's working. We got kind of lighter on the inside and less light on the outside. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna tweak the scale a tiny bit. I think that's okay. Yeah, dimension. You can kind of you can kind of tweak the uh, how much individual flame and how much uh, like real fire, like glowy fire you have. Um, I don't know. I kind of I kind of like the really like wispy flames, but also it kind of starts to look a little unrealistic. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. I'm not looking over your shoulder. Um, cool. So that's uh, that's kind of it. We got the the main flame part of it, and now all we got to do to um, to animate it is um, go to the uh, go down to the Musgrave texture and the the mapping and all that, and go to location. Yeah, we just want to. Insert a keyframe. Whoop! Bring this to the timeline. Want to click on this guy and insert a keyframe on the location for Z, and then we will bring this up to probably not that far actually. Oh, and we actually want it to go negative because that's the way it goes up. So yeah, we'll bring that there and put another keyframe there, and then. Um, like that looks kind of cool, but it also doesn't, it's just, you can see the texture is just moving up and that's, uh, that's kind of lame. So we're also going to bring, whoops, I forgot to make this Musgrave texture 4D. That's, uh, that's something we'll do too, to make this extra cool. Um, and we're going to go back here and put a keyframe on the W and then, um, yeah, just change this a little bit, and a little goes a long way. So we're just gonna we're gonna bring it there. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna select both those keyframes for this is on the on the Musgrave texture now because it's highlighted. I'm gonna go V vector Control E um, linear extrapolation, and we're gonna do the same thing on this mapping node. So we're gonna I just clicked on the mapping node. I'm gonna um, select both those keyframes. I'm gonna do V vector shift e linear extrapolation so now it should just uh keep going like that and it's burning pretty hot it's burning pretty fast right now so we're gonna um we still have the mapping node selected with the the z location so we're gonna bring that one keyframe out a bit and that should slow it down okay and the the w on this is actually going pretty crazy too so we're gonna slow that down as well there we go, yeah. So it should look pretty good from all sides. Um, it'd probably look a little bit, bit more realistic in a cylinder. I don't know, we can try... Um, where are we? Try like selecting all of these. I don't know if this is the proper way of doing this. <laughs> no, this doesn't look. <laughs> this doesn't look. I'm gonna. I'm gonna bring that back. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of the idea. And uh, yeah, it uh, goes. Obviously, it needs to. It needs a little time to render. It doesn't look super great when you're just uh, just doing that. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of it. And the cool thing is that you can uh, you can like really slow it down, and it looks pretty. Okay, now I gotta slow this guy down even more, but. It really, it looks good, like kind of like slow motion fire. Like you could do a nice close up of. Uh... Yeah, and people would, I think people would think that's that's fire. Like it looks pretty good and it's pretty lightweight. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna just bring those all back. But yeah, and that's uh, that's kind of it. I'll let you take a quick. Uh, another look at this guy. Nice close-up. So yeah, we got the Musgrave texture with the gain turned up, and then we we choked off all everything except for the the little bottom bit, except inverted. So like, yeah, I don't know. Um, that is mixed in with a gradient texture that we moved to kind of choke off the the top of it. Um, with the factor, and then the it's just mis mixed with nothing. Um, to mask that, 
and then we multiplied it a little bit to give it some um, some nice brightness and kind of make those those middle of the flame parts kind of overexpose into yellow a little bit. Um, we did this color wrap, which might be completely useless, honestly. I <laughs> I think it might be. I think it's just kind of getting that little that little middle bit, but whatever, it uh, it works. Um, and yeah, that's all just going into the emission. And um, yeah, I think I think for a part two, I'm gonna try and figure out some sort of smoke that I could do on this, because I think I think that could look pretty cool. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Uh, I just want to say one more thing that um, if you if you want to kind of make it look like it's going sideways, like the wind is catching it a little bit. Could, uh, you could just like change the rotation a little bit and then it kind of looks like it kind of looks like the fire is like the wind is kind of catching it and going that way a little bit and then the last thing is that I was just checking this out in uh, because I've been I've been in cycles this whole time I'm using 3.0 alpha so the cycle is X but if you go to EV um, and you have, so I, I changed my volumetrics down to two pixels tile size, and then um, it, I'll probably do it higher than this for the render because you can still see like a little bit of a banding in there, but I'm going to EV and then look at cycles. I like can't really tell the difference after, after a certain point. So I'm, uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked on this. Uh, okay, that's it.